Australia needs a wake-up call when it comes to prostate cancer. Prostate cancer accounts for nearly 16% of all cancers diagnosed in Australia. Case numbers have surged to more than 26,000 a year, and what's worse is that prostate cancer kills more than 10 men every single day. But tonight, I can tell you about an exciting new treatment for this insidious disease. Australia has approved the first targeted radiolican therapy for advanced prostate cancer, and it's called Pluvicto, and it's being described as a precision medicine that can treat disease with limited unwanted effects on nearby healthy cells. Professor Michael Hoffman is a nuclear medicine physician and the director of the Prostate Cancer Theranostics and Imaging Centre of, of Excellence at the wonderful Mel, um, Melbourne's Peter McCallum Cancer Centre, and I'm delighted to say he's on the line. Good evening, Michael. Good evening. Thanks for covering this story. It's such an important story. So can you explain to the audience what is Plevicto? Yeah, so this is a new type of treatment for men with advanced prostate cancer. As you've mentioned, prostate cancer, it's a leading cause of death in Australian men. Around 3,500 men die of prostate cancer every year Mm. in Australia. That's around 10 men dying every day. Uh, So this is a welcome new addition uh, to our treatment options, and it's a very different treatment option. Uh, this is a treatment for men with advanced metastatic disease. That's the term we use when the cancer has spread outside the prostate gland, and it's very advanced. And, and let's say yeah, the, to, up to this point, the treatment for that wasn't particularly good. Correct. The treatment options you know, for this type of disease at the moment is uh, a hormone treatment because these type of cancers need testosterone to, gr- to grow. So you can block testosterone with a drug, stopping the cancer to grow, but eventually these hormone treatments stop working. And then there's other types of drugs that block the testosterone receptor at another level. They eventually stop working as well. And then there's chemotherapy. Uh, but all these treatments, although they each work, they eventually stop working. And that's when this new treatment option you know, is currently are uh, being recommended and may be suitable. Right. So how does it actually work? So this is a new class of treatment, and it's a targeted treatment. The actual molecule has two parts. One part is like a key that locks specifically onto prostate cancer cells. It does this by binding to a receptor called prostate-specific membrane antigen, or PSMA for short, that sits on the prostate cancer cells. And the other part is a radioactive payload called lutetium-177. Now, so it's a very clever drug. We give it into a vein, and that drug travels around the body. It locks onto the prostate cancer cells, and it delivers high doses of radiation to the tumours to kill them. Mm. But the radiation from the lutetium travels only one millimetre, so it doesn't cause much harm to normal tissues, uh, but really you know, kills those tumours. So how effective has this Plevicto been shown to be? Yeah, well, the very first trial of this treatment was actually done at the Peter Mac uh, around 10 years ago. At that time, we took men who had failed all available treatments and we saw remarkable responses. Around six out of every 10 men who had that treatment had an excellent response. And these cancers, they often spread to bone and that can cause a lot of bone pain, which can be really debilitating. And we saw men who had been on heavy pain medications like morphine who were able to stop it altogether. And we then went on to do actually the very first big trial of this treatment in Australia. This was led by the ANZ UP Cancer Trials Group and we compared the radioactive treatment to a type of chemotherapy called carbazitaxel and we showed that the radioactive treatment had double the response rates, less side effects and improved patients' lives better. And since then there's been a very large international trial run by Novartis in the US and Europe which was very successful. That's led to international registration and availability. In that trial, tumours shrank or disappeared in around 30% of men with the radioactive treatment compared to only 2% uh, with the standard treatment. Big difference. And men lived longer, uh, 15 months compared to 11 months with the standard treatment. Uh, And and really it's good to, you know, the good thing about this treatment is it's low amount of side effects, certainly compared to chemotherapy, which can have a lot of side effects. This is a real game changer. It certainly sounds like it. So where is it being rolled out? Yeah, so this is a radioactive treatment, uh, thereby, therefore it does need specialised facilities and it's given by you know, nuclear medicine specialists like myself. It's currently available in some hospitals, but it's not widely available. This registration of the drug is an important step, uh, but we really need Medicare funding and you know, Medicare funding will enable it to be available everywhere 
with fair and equitable access. And it's a bit of a complicated landscape because these radioactive drugs, they don't quite fit into the standard pathway for drug registration and development. I think we've made a lot of progress. Recently, there was a recommendation to government to fund this treatment, and Novartis are also fighting to get uh, Plevictor available. So we're waiting for some government decisions, but we're hopeful that this will be really very widely available in the not-too-distant future. And so for people listening who've been diagnosed with prostate cancer, we still have to make the point this is for advanced disease. It's not a, not a treatment option if you've just found out you've got localised prostate cancer. Yeah, that's a really important point because, you know, these early stage prostate cancers are much, much more common, mm-hmm. even though, and here we're talking about men with a very advanced disease who have actually had a few lines of therapy for their advanced right. disease. Yep. So if anyone's listening and they want more information... Uh, what should they do? Look, I think you would be, if you have advanced prostate cancer that has spread, you would be under the care of a medical oncologist or urologist. So I think first point of call is to talk to your treating specialist. They will know about this new type of treatment and they will know, you know, how to potentially access it. And some clinics will also have a nurse specialist uh, with specific expertise in prostate cancer. Always a good idea to have a chat to your nurse as well to get more information. Uh, Michael, look, look, that was just absolutely superb. This, this is such important information, and I congratulate you on the extraordinary work that's always done at Peter McCallum. No, thanks so much, Rob, and thanks for covering this story again. As Professor Michael Hoffman, some extraordinary uh, stuff in regards to treating advanced prostate cancer there.